Always great to catch up with Marcus Tanner of the Second Helpings uh, here in the Low Country. Marcus, uh, we are coming toward the end of the summer season. We got Labor Day weekend coming up, and, and that ends, uh, sort of ends, uh, a big project you guys do during the summer. Let's get it to the end and then uh, talk about what folks might even be able to do uh, beyond that, and that's uh, bringing food to help folks out. Absolutely. Yeah, so over the summertime, uh, we started our second year of the post-vacation food donation program, uh, and we had a lot of success the first year, and so we kind of tweaked it a little bit uh, starting the second year. So we added bins in a few different locations, and uh, we've had it going all summer long, and we've uh, picked up hundreds of pounds of food each week, uh, either locals that stop by or people that are on vacation that mm -hmm. see it uh, on their vacation website uh, through their, uh, their their company. And uh, it's just been a great opportunity, and a lot of people have come out and really, really made it a success. Better than last year? Absolutely. Is yes, it? sir. We had uh, a few. We actually, by adding the location at, at Fish yeah. and also at Palmetto Dunes, uh, that was really highlighted. Uh, those two locations were just prime prime time for uh, vacationers to be able to drop off while they're in Caligny and, and continue about their way. Well, that, that's terrific. And it, it officially ends August 31st, end of the month, a yes, uh, week from Saturday. Um, let's talk about, though, uh, what folks then can do who are coming in for the big weekend, for Labor Day weekend, and, and post that. There are still ways for them to, to help, aren't, aren't there? Yes, sir. So uh, we're, we're starting to highlight uh, different agencies that are on the island. Uh, we've got uh, Deep Well, St. Andrews by the Sea, uh, are two of the, the larger agencies here on the island that we would uh, offer them to donate to. Of course, Santa Wood on the north end. Okay. Uh, but you know, we've got a, a ton of different agencies that are reaching out to the locations of all the, the property managers to say, hey, you know, if your people still want somewhere to donate, yeah. you know, stop by uh, these three locations and they're, they're ready to receive. Let's talk about some of the great folks uh, that, that have helped, uh, that are, are a part of it. You just mentioned a couple of them. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, let's talk about them and uh, the great help you're now getting from all around the island and, and uh, the low country to, to donate to Second Helpings. Yes, sir. So uh, we've, we've had a, a huge initiative going on with regards to uh, our Healthy Food Initiative and we've had uh, actually two recent donations to that. Yeah. Uh, the Long Cove, uh, they gave a donation uh, to actually support our health food initiative. And because of them giving and because of them being a huge part of what we do at Second Helpings, that's actually going to help us. And, and, you know, I hope you're sitting down for this. It's yeah. going to allow us to provide a quarter million pounds wow. of fresh produce throughout our entire service area. Okay, now a quarter million pounds obviously is a huge number. But it is surprising how small that number needs to be to help feed one family. Tell us about that, what you can turn yes, a quarter million pounds into. <laughs> yes, sir. So uh, so kind of our, our math of how we do it is uh, roughly six pounds is the equivalent of uh, five meals. Wow. And so uh, to look at poundage and to look at meals and to look at donations. Um, so for every dollar that we take in, uh, that allows us to put five meals back into the community. Okay. So, and I said this before, I don't know how many times, you know, you've gone out and gone to, you know, gone to McDonald's or gone to a restaurant, yeah. you know, and, uh, and used a dollar to buy five meals. And because of our volunteers, because of our donors, and because of the amazing support that we get throughout the low country, throughout the island, it allows us to pass that savings back onto our agencies. And we've got some fantastic donors uh, in just here on the island, uh, mm -hmm. St. Francis, uh, they made a donation uh, towards our re our food rescue operations, our the, which is the bare bones of what we do, and uh, that's going to allow us to continue to do that, uh, and that continues to keep that low that low overhead, so we can in turn uh, do this uh, every day of the week. That's fantastic. Do we just want to tease this because we don't have much time, but you're a part of a special event in October as well that uh, we want to get folks to at least circle on their calendar and we'll give them more details yes, as sir. time goes on. Tell us about it. Yes, sir. So Rock and Ribs uh, is a huge <laughs> thing for the island sure. and it's a lot of a lot of great fellowship, great time to get out, you know, a lot of good music. Uh, we, you know, there, we're going to have a booth set up out there. We're going to be helping out uh, throughout the entire event. So all of our volunteers are going to be there uh, with our second helpings gear, with our rocket ribs gear. Uh, and it's just a great opportunity for the 
the community to come out and support the community uh, because, again, that's what that's what Hilton Head does best. Indeed. October 17th through the 20th, kind of circle that weekend on your calendar. Yes, sir. And we'll give you more as we get to, uh, get along down the road. Marcus, thanks again uh, for the time. Yes, sir. Uh, congratulations on all the great work you've done this summer. We'll finish it off with a bang on Labor Day weekend. Thanks for joining us. We, yes, sir. We thank you. Marcus Tanner joining us. Uh, we're going to have much more of the WHHI Daily News right after this.